Hey guys, fancy meeting you down here. Um, welcome to my van. Since the coronavirus hit, I've been parked here for quite some time and haven't used my water system in, I think, over a month. Which means it's ugly and disgusting and really needs to be cleaned. And also, if you look here, this door really isn't a door anymore. Which is mostly, oh no, it comes out everything. Um, so we're gonna need to fix that door as well. You see here that the hinges have broken out of the of the wood, which is because it's such a such a, a weak wood to begin with. And so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna go to the hardware store, buy some real screws that we can screw through the wood instead of in the wood, and fix the door. And then we are gonna clean the water system and make it usable again. Come on. as if the whole world is in the hardware store buying stuff because we have nothing else to do <laughs> still um let's get started we need to put all of this out um remove all of the shelves i have here so that we can reach through the holes and reinstall the door correctly this time and after that Gonna clean that stuff up. So I drilled the holes and just about cleared the thick fitting for my table holder. So that's all right. Um, yeah, let's refit the door, right? Germany lets you buy, I don't know how it is in other countries, but Germany lets you buy single pieces of screws and uh, washings and all that. You just need to write every piece down. And for some reason they want you to have a separate bag for everyone, but everybody just puts everything in one bag, because actually, why not? So here's the big thing that we're gonna do instead of the single screw going into the wood. We're going to have a big long screw, have a washer, have the wood in between, have another washer, and then put a nut on. And that way it's gonna hold. This now, come around. This will hold. So, we've got a working kitchen door again. Now, to cleaning this shitty mess. So, I've just taken out these busted old pipes from the pump and it is a little bit as, as I feared that 
I won't be able to clean those. So I'm gonna clean the canisters because I know I can do that and then replace those busted old ones with these shiny new ones and then we should be all good again. So let's start by cleaning the canisters. Um, we're gonna do that using vinegar and citric acid and just letting it sit. It's not that spectacular but will work. Here is why you measure twice, cut once, or in this case uh, measure at least once and then buy once. Because the hose I bought is 10 millimeter in outer diameter. And actually now that I look at it I need 12 millimeter in inner diameter. So I really hope I can get this busted old stuff cleaned up. Um, otherwise, we're gonna have another trip to the hardware store, I'm guessing. Let's see. been now three days now since I made my little experiment here as you can see it's not really what I would say working out so we're getting rid of this and actually I've been to the hardware store already gonna install some new hose um, so I'm gonna get rid of the old experiment um, we're gonna cut some holes into size and then Pull them into the system. See you later. The good thing is actually that I can at least use the old hose for measurements. Um, yeah, what you're gonna do. Okay. So this experiment was um, I was using um, lemon acid, citric acid and mixed with water and that kind of didn't get rid of the slime so actually the takeaway from this is if you let your water system staying with water for about a month is enough that it will build a lot of biological goo oh, come on number one And number two, gooey one. Blah. Let's not use it that closely. That's okay. So, let's install these two guys. So the basic idea is to have these guys 
and there should be three of them and to have one piece of hose going from the from the faucet to the pump one going from the pump into the um, fresh water and then I'm gonna let the system dry uh, don't fill the system with water until I'm actually using it again and then I'm gonna flood it with uh, with, with a bit of citric acid before I'm doing anything just to get the pump clean as well so um, yeah let's get going So the simple idea, if you're using a very very simple faucet like I do, which is just held on by pressure, meaning that the, the fairing is extremely tight. Um, if you want to ha have it moving, lay the hose that goes to it in a in a circle or in a loop, so that when it moves, it doesn't stretch anything; it just moves. Oh, and that's my water system being ready to be used again. Um, that thing has bugged me for quite some time and I'm glad I repaired it now. Um, as I said before, I will keep it dry until I'm moving it in, which isn't that far off, at least to get some short trips in. Um, but until then I'll be keeping it dry. And I'm really glad that I have done that now and completed that now and can use the water again. Um, See you soon for the next chain against. I don't really know what that's gonna be right now. There's a few projects in the loop, but I'm gonna see which one I'm doing next. So keep you posted.